Hi folks, so I've been asked to demo one of the solutions to uh, uh, getting sort of maths writing uh, uh, digitized or for, 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 for remote teaching. Um, what I want to show you is this, it's a, a, a Wacom graphics tablet, an Intuos tablet, there's, there's many versions of it, this is a fairly recent one, and as you can see it's a sort of fairly sort of plain black slate, uh, slightly uh, rough to the touch. Uh, I have two cameras by the way, one I'm looking at over here and one I'm looking at uh, in a larger screen in front of me and I'll show you why I do that in a second. So this uh, tablet comes with its own stylus, um, it has a small plastic uh, a nib on the front there and two buttons that can be used for various functions and the idea is you turn it on and you write on this surface and it appears on the screen in front of you. Uh, this one has blue tooth connectivity which means you don't have to have connected wire but to be honest if you're doing this either uh, in an office in Kevin Street or in your home office uh, the wire isn't really very restrictive anyway so let me go ahead and sort of turn it on I'll show you the setup here um, so obviously just, I'm sitting at my desk at home I've got a, a slightly larger screen here that I use as well for sort of working during the day and you press the single button here and you see the blue light I'm sure that means the tablet is connecting to the um, uh, to the PC and then what I'll do is I will start looking at the bigger screen so I'm going to minimize this and um, uh, and I'm looking at the screen now I'm going to open up an app that I use for writing it's called Zernal uh, it's a nice app um, it's designed by MIT uh, and it's freeware and it's available uh, for all Linux uh, 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 distributions. There are similar apps with very similar functionality for Windows as well. For those of you using Linux, by the way, uh, the Intuos tablet basically is supported out of the box uh, on all recent Linux uh, kernels. Um, if you, the only thing you have to do is update the, the driver for, uh, which is very straightforward for, for the Bluetooth, and for Windows it comes with software and, and is very well supported as well. So this is thing called Zernal, so I'm uh, uh, moving the, the stylus down on top of the tablet. Once you get within sort of a half an inch or so of the surface of the tablet, uh, uh, you can see this very small dot there moving with me, uh, uh, with my, my stylus rather, so I can see where my pen is going. Uh, it does take, you know, a little bit of practice to get used to this, uh, but I found it actually it, it happened quite quickly, you know, a few sessions and, and I began to get a bit more confident. And so uh, I'm going to sort of simulate doing a, a bit of a second year lecture here. One of the things we do is we motivate uh, uh, what are called moment generating functions. So I'll change the color to blue uh, and I might make the thing quite thick as a heading. And I go moment generating functions. And you have some nice tools here, for example, there's a highlighter tool if you really want to use it, this kind of thing. Uh, you can just cut and paste tools. Um, you can cut and paste graphics in here or, or screenshots from somewhere else, that kind of thing. And you can undo very easily if you don't like what you've done uh, and feel you made a mistake. Uh, it's relatively easy to erase, for example, uh, and then go, uh, go again. So moment generating functions. I'll change to sort of my normal pen size uh, and the right color. And uh, well, maybe green and say, okay, we might start with a motivating example. Okay, and we say, let x be distributed as an exponential random variable. So we have f of x the probability density function is equal to lambda e to the minus lambda x and we say x is uh, non-negative and lambda is positive okay and the students would be well aware of this and so what we want to do um, so aim is to find the mean and variance of x. In other words, expressions for the mean and variance of x. That's what I want to do. Um, I find the writing uh, of this uh, straightforward, so if it looks a bit crummy to you, it's probably just my crummy handwriting, which I admit is, is not good. Um, 
but legibility is important. Uh, uh, I'll point out, by the way, that this page is, you see it's lined here and ruled. Uh, it's actually an A4 page uh, and it can be very quickly exported to PDF. You can see the color changes is, is very easy. Uh, if you want to change the, the background of the page, you can change the, 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 the paper style to plain. Um, or if you prefer things like uh, a graph paper, that kind of thing, that's easily done and you can easily change that and save it. These uh, are saved as particular uh, external files that you can go back in and re-edit, add in, correct any mistakes, uh, rewrite things that are particularly poorly written uh, uh, to make them more legible and so on. Um, the files themselves are remarkably small in size. This is this particular bit of software, as that our equivalents on Windows and so on, uh, was developed by MIT. So you can imagine it's, it's quite a good a good thing. It's entirely free as well. Uh, I'll go back to my uh, uh, rule page, I think. Okay, and again you zoom in. <coughs> so I want to find the mean invariance of x. Okay, now we'll go to our sort of usual sort of black color. So okay, um, define the moment generating function of x. Okay, and we call it mx of t, and we define it as the expected value of e to the power of tx. So it's a expectation of a function of the random variable. And therefore, in this case, uh, mx of t will be equal to, well, it'll be the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power of tx lambda e to the minus lambda x dx. Okay, so we have this sort of integral to solve. Uh, I don't like that 0, so I was a bit there, hand fisted there. Okay, so there we go. Um, and so we go something like this uh, is equal to uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of lambda e to the minus x times, well, what would it be lambda minus t dx. And then we put in a sort of note to the side here. Uh, we will assume, or let, uh, let's see, t be less than lambda. Uh, we can talk about the implications of that uh, 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 some other time. Okay, clearly there are values of real values of t less than lambda since lambda is strictly positive um, and so on. Okay, the technical conditions for the expectation to exist and therefore the moment generating function to exist we'll leave to another time. Solving the integral then um, we end up with uh, it's going to be what? It's going to be uh, lambda times uh, uh, um, uh, minus 1 over lambda minus t times e to the minus x lambda minus t. Uh, so we'll have x going from 0 uh, up to x approaching infinity. And that will be equal to lambda over lambda minus t. And so we say that uh, this, just to show you another color here, is the uh, mx of t for an exponential random variable. Okay, so that's my demo. Um, just to zoom out again. Uh, um, so this basically is how it works. So I'm using the pen. I said the the writing actually is pretty good. Don't let my poor handwriting put you off. Uh, neater writers will will, will 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 look better on this. Um, the use of color is 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 very good. Um, you can go in and start moving things around. Let's for example, I wanted to put in an extra extra space there, extra line. It is no problem to go in and re-edit these later on and move things around. For example, I see I've moved this one when I shouldn't have. So let me undo that. And I sort of do or select. And then you start to move it. And it should have been up there. Isn't that right? 
you can highlight things, you can bring in graphs uh, and plots from other programs uh, very easily as sort of static images that you want to then draw on uh, uh, in Zernal. Uh, and I said in Windows you have things like OneNote uh, and other applications that basically do the same thing that this does. Um, and that's the Wacom tablet. Thanks.